So as a platform at Gadasta company, Time Inc. is really heading for distribution of its content to whatever platform is available. You know, our audiences have not have any lack of interest in what we produce. There's more interest in our content than there's ever been before. It's just less content, less people interested in printed pages. So by growing our digital audiences, by growing our video output, by growing our conferences, by growing our events, there's more ways for consumers who love the things that we produce to interact with us, and that's what we're doing. Does that mean that you are going to put less emphasis on print, or it's going to be like everything equal? We're going to put emphasis on wherever the customer wants to uh, take the content from us. If customers like our print products, we'll continue to sell them. Print's not going away. It's going to be around for the next 50 years. It's still a very significant part of our business and will be for the next 25 years. But the reality is there are other areas of growth for us, and we've ignored those for years, and we're going into those areas right now, and that's why our digital audiences are growing substantially, our video audiences are growing substantially, our mobile audiences are growing substantially, because we are recognizing the fact that our print products has an incredible content that can be distributed quite easily on other formats for distribution. What do you think as supposedly the most creative people on the face of the earth, I mean media people, why did we, it took us like five, six years to discover this fact that you are preaching now? I don't, think it's, I don't think it had anything to do with the media people. I think it was the structure of Time Inc. within Time Warner. At Time Warner there was a video division and there was a division that dealt with the internet. And so Time Inc. was told you're the magazine division. It was that label that was the problem. Because once you define yourself by your distribution vehicle, then you're stuck with that vehicle. So when Time Inc. said, I want to grow my websites, they said, but you're a magazine company, you don't really need to do that. When we wanted to get involved in video projects, they said, well, you're not the video project, go talk to the studios, they'll do that for you. The reality is we were a content company. It was the definition of ourselves by a distribution vehicle that was what limited our ability to distribute across multiple formats. Thank you.